Hi friends, thanks for being here. In this video, I will be going over Canvas views and show it and how to use them to create a testimonial section. I'll be covering the design portion as well as the transa uh, transitional options that you have within show it's builder. So without further ado, we shall get started. So I have one of my templates open. It already has a design in it. So whatever design you want your template section to look like, go ahead and get that up there. You can add a title that says test, I'll oh, say client, uh, nah, love notes. There we go. Whatever you want it to say, do so. I'm just going to edit the text, throw that over here. Don't mind me as I edit my, my stuff. So this is what I have done for the design for my testimonial section. Um, just kidding, I'm gonna center this. All right, now we begin for reels. Uh, so once you get a design down, now you're gonna wanna create the canvas views. And these canvas views are basically, um, as it sounds like, within this canvas section, you're gonna have different views. And to do that, over in your left-hand side on the page, in your testimonial section, click the three dots and do add canvas view. So view one, I'm gonna rename this to client one, and then I'm gonna select the info that will change. So the actual testimonial, that's gonna go in there. The client name is gonna go in there, and the image of that client is gonna go in there. This line is not gonna change in my design. However, if your second view does have a different design, you would wanna go ahead and drag this into the same client folder as well. And then this is the navigating option. Um, so once you add this, when your click actions, I'll just show you what I have here. You're gonna wanna navigate within the canvas. It's gonna be this specific canvas and you're gonna want it to go next. Because it's not going to a specific view, no matter what canvas you navigate to, this button will always go to whatever is next, whatever is underneath. So I also have scroll to canvas. What this does, is that is specifically for um, mobile because since it's at the bottom, when someone, I'll just show you, when someone's on a mobile device, if they scroll down, you see how like the image is not visible anymore. So basically when they hit the next button, I'd want it to scroll back up and start so they can read it again, click, scroll back up, etc. And I'll show you how that works a little bit more as we build this out. So. This is what I have. Love notes is not gonna change. It's gonna stay consistent. So these three things here are outside of the canvas view, as you can see here. So now when I click on view one, this is what it's gonna look like. So what I'm gonna do to make my life easier is click these three buttons and hit duplicate. Now when I click on this, I'm gonna rename this to client two. And now it's the same image stuff. So I'm gonna go in, click here, change this. Like I said, very simple to just go up here, click the image, boom, click whatever image you want to swap here. And then you would change your text. So let's just, so that for visibility purposes, I'll change the way that is formatted. Boom, and then we'll call this one Jessica M. Okay, and we're gonna, uh, looks good. So this is the second view. So now when I click between client one in client two, you can see that change in the um, canvas view. So just for the sake of doing odd numbers, I'm gonna make a third one, same kind of deal. And we'll swap this image out to this one. All right, so now we have three different views, boom, boom, boom. And now we're just gonna preview um, what this looks like. Scroll, scroll, scroll. So here's our little love note section. When I click this arrow, it will go to the next canvas, those images, <laughs> next and next, and it'll just keep rotating through. Um, and obviously keep in mind <laughs> the images you pick, make sure they make sense for the design. Because this is set to stretch size position wise, um, it would make sense to do, you know, better images than just zooming in on her hand and chest. So we'll just do that for now, because that will bother me. Anyway, so we have those three. 
set. Now, as you notice, we'll go back real quick. This is just going, like it's just flashing. You see how it scrolled up? It's flashing from one thing to the next, nothing fancy. It has to be done manually. So I'm gonna go over a few options for that as far as transitions are concerned. So within this canvas, you're gonna to wanna to go in the right panel, make sure it's selected, and go down to View Transitions. Now, if you want these to automatically move, you would hit Auto Advanced View and select your time. Um, and obviously you would want to make this time long enough for someone to be able to read however much text you have here. Uh, if it's like a quick snippet, you know, you can keep this at two, three seconds. If it's a lot of text, you would want to jump that up to five, six seconds. Just preview it and see how long it takes to rotate. So, so three seconds is pretty fast, as you can see, and this is just auto rotating. Um, so in this case, I would probably bump it up quite a bit so you have time to read and it would just auto advance for you. So that is that. Now, on top of it advancing manually or automatically, you can also change the way the canvases transition from one to the next. So canvas view in where it, when it appears and canvas view out when it disappears. Um, I'm a fan of simplicity, so normally I will just do fade so that it is a soft transition go in here, you can do delay, time. For this situation, delay doesn't really make sense, so just focus on the time between each transition. I have it set to 0.5, so let's see what that looks like. So now, when you click the next button, you see how it fades. It's not so uh, harsh. And you can increase the time it takes to fade. So maybe I want, want it to do like a full second, so it's a nice soft fade. We'll preview that. Nice and soft and slow. Uh, so those are options for that. You can also do, depending on your design, you can do slide, bounce, rotate, zoom, flip, all. You have all these options here. So for example, if I wanted it to slide up when the view comes in and then when it leaves, I could have it slide down, um, et cetera. You could slide left, slide right. We'll see what it looks like though. See, so you can add in those kinds of effects as well to, you know, change stuff up in your canvas view. So that is that I'm going to put this back to fade. So now we have it to where they fade in between. Like I said, you can auto advance probably six seconds. And now you have testimonials that look fabulous and do what you need them to do. So as I started with saying in this video, it's pretty simple. And if you have questions, of course, comments are down below. Please drop one. Uh, I think that's it. Easy peasy. And you can have as many clients as you need over here. Just, I would always advise to save yourself the hassle, design the first one on desktop and mobile, make sure you love it and then duplicate it and swap out your info. And please don't forget to do mobile. <laughs> I have done that many times and it's very aggravating to go back and rebuild multiple client canvas views. So that's it for today in this video. Please support by liking this video and subscribing. Comment below if you have any questions and as always thank you for watching.